Hi there, it's Mrs. Clark, your librarian again. I'm going to tell you about three books that are available for checkout in the library today. The first book is called Look Both Ways. From the amazing author Jason Reynolds, who wrote Ghost, comes this novel told in 10 blocks, showing all the different directions a walk home from school can take. This story was going to begin like all the best stories, with a school bus falling from the sky. But no one saw it happen. They were all too busy. Too busy talking about boogers and stealing pocket change. Talking about skateboarding, wiping out and braving up. Executing complicated handshakes and planning escapes. These kids were busy making jokes, finding comfort in each other, and mostly being entrenched in their walk home from school. This book contains 10 stories, one per block, about what happens after the dismissal bell rings and brilliantly weaves them into one wickedly funny look at the detours we face on the walk home and in life. This is one of our Young Hoosier books for this year. If you're looking for a comical read, this may be a great pick for you. The next book is called The Genius Under the Table. Drama, family secrets, and a KGB spy in his own kitchen. How will Yevgeny ever fulfill his parents' dream that he becomes a national hero when he doesn't even have his own room? In the tiny apartment he shares with his ballet-obsessed mother, poetry-loving father, continually outraged grandmother, and safely talented brother, all Yevgeny has is his little pencil, the underside of a massive, ta massive table, and the doodles that could change everything. The incredible author and artist recounts in hilarious detail his childhood during Cold War Russia as a young boy desperate to understand his place in his family. This book recently won the amazing Sydney Taylor Book Honor for its charming and comic timing, and I highly recommend it for you if you're looking for something funny and historical. The last book I'm going to tell you about is called I Love You So Mochi. Kimmy is obsessed with transforming everyday things into Kimmy originals, bold outfits that make her and her friends feel like the ultimate versions of themselves. But her mother disapproves, and when they get into an explosive fight, Kimmy's entire future seems on the verge of falling apart. So when a surprise letter comes in the mail from Kimmy's estranged grandparents, inviting her to Japan for spring break, she seizes the opportunity to get away from the disaster of her life. When she arrives, she's met with a culture both familiar and completely foreign to her. She loses herself in the city's outdoor markets, art installations, and cherry blossom festival, and meets Akira, a cute aspiring student who works as a costumed mochi mascot. And what begins as a trip to escape her problems quickly becomes a way for Kimmy to learn more about the mother she left behind and to figure out where her own heart lies. This is one delightfully sweet and funny book that will have you squeal at the cute, cringe at the awkward, and show that sometimes you have to lose yourself in something you love to find your ultimate self. This would be a great choice if you're looking for a, a bit of a fun, meet cute romance. If you're interested in any, in any of these books, they'll be available at the circulation desk when you visit the library today. Be sure to check one out and have a fabulous day!